I'm wearing a full Issa on Blisse. You know, a little bucket hat. YSL bag. Damn. It's my favorite bag. Yeah, ASAP Rocky wore it. So, like, <laughs> like oh, I need to get it. You have to get it. I'm actually an attorney. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, the right, law right. stand fly. I'm about to be out to the city, but I like chilling out here in the daytime. You guys can't see it's too overexposed. But anyways, I want to do a subscriber edition. So if you guys want to meet up in Washington Square Park, you guys gotta let me know. Either Washington Square Park or somewhere else in the city, we could do it. But yeah, subscriber edition soon. You guys gotta let me know. Uh, but it's time to go. It's time to go. Just tell me what you're wearing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so started from the top. I'm wearing the um, Linda Farrow with Walter Van. Can't pronounce his last Bernadoc, name. Doc, something like that. Yeah, bag is Luar. Luar, look at the Luar yeah. bag. Yeah, try to hide my nose. Um, <laughs> sweater is Kos. Kos. Oh, Kos. It's new, it's women's. The belt is CDG. CDG? That's the classic belt. What's the okay? pants are Kos as well. Kos. Women's. My shoes are Birkenstock. These are Birkies? Yeah. Fire. Yeah, so what do you do? I'm a fashion student and I also work in retail currently. Okay. Trying Wait. to get an office job, but yeah. yeah. Parsons or FIT? I actually go to school back in Jersey. Yeah. Jersey, Montclair, where you at? Montclair yeah, State I University. Yeah, I went to MSU for a, a oh, oh, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, all right, I appreciate you, bro. Right. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, just tell me what you're wearing. Hey, my name is Lauren. Um, I am wearing a knitted tank top with a red corduroy skirt and some black boots. Oh, my God. Do you know where they're from? My, it's all vintage. It's all stuff all that I've vintage. like thrifted. Yes. And Here in New York, Chicago, all around the world. Okay. And then this she is a vintage wide. YSL bag. Damn. It's my favorite bag. I carry it almost every day. I love the bag. Yeah. So what do you do? I'm an actress. You're an actress? Yeah. So how would you advise people trying to come up in acting? Because I know it's a really like niche, hard field. I think just create your own work, like collaborate with friends and come up with your own ideas and execute them and put it out into the world. Okay, we love that. Yeah. My guy's back. Tell me what you're wearing, it's bro. Good, it was good. You know, a little bucket hat, you know. Where's it from though? Animated people, bucket yeah. hat. Animated people t-shirt. I think I designed this t-shirt in 2019. It has the print of somebody in animated people and then on the back it has the text. Oh my God, the text um, is insane, bro. And then we have these pants. I picked these up from like Beacon's Closet. I think it was like maybe 20 bucks. ID on the boots will we'll keep it for the future you know what i mean yes yeah, so tell me what you got up and coming with animated people um we're trying to do a fashion show in september so we're gonna fill you guys in cool. i'm gonna address this right now right with animated people i never really wanted to like build a brand to generate income i kind of wanted to build a brand to you know make art you know with fashion because i feel like the art in fashion is kind of lost right now because everybody's trying to like, you know, get something from it, which I understand, you know, you gotta make a living. But some of us too kind of see it like a form of art and we just want to keep it strictly art, you know? So with art, you're not getting a bunch of it, you're just getting a good amount of it. And that's kind of where we're at right now. But I'm definitely gonna be dropping some stuff for you guys to buy really soon. These bucket hats you're gonna be able to buy. I know, I need them. These tees came out already. We might do a re-release on the tees, but Yo, trust me, I got so much good stuff coming out and you guys are definitely going to be able to purchase, you know, going forward. I know, I'm yes. excited as fuck. Yeah. I can't wait. Rock boy put me on people. the spot though. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. But yeah, I appreciate all the love, man. This is the guy right here. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Yeah. I already know the end of that clip for y'all was like 20 seconds, but I was standing there talking to Kojo for like two hours, bro. I know I'd be repeating myself a lot about this specifically, but a lot of you guys don't even understand how important the network you have around you is. You gotta have that strong network behind you. You gotta have people around you that are doing shit. As I was just talking about it with him, like the people in my town, when I be chilling in my town, I don't know, there's not a lot of people that are going crazy up, like flying high. When I was in my town just chilling, I felt like, I'm trying to sound like a dick, but I feel like I'm the one that's moving faster than everybody else. And here it's a lot different. You know, I'm moving at a fast pace, but other people around me are moving at similar speed. And when you get out of that like little bubble that you're in in, in your town, and you start migrating to where people are moving different and moving faster than you that's the only way you move faster because when you're hanging around people that aren't going up it brings you down because literally nothing stays stagnant everything either goes up or down and the people you be around dictate whether you go up or down people think they can move solo and whatever they do you can't move solo you got to move with a good network i got a good network i'm trying to build a better network 
and y'all should do the same because I was in I was stuck in that bubble when I was a kid bro thinking it doesn't matter who I'm around or I don't need to chill with nobody I could just do my own thing and succeed it's like trust me you gotta have that network but yeah no more preaching just just get that network up get your bread up don't be a brokey out here stop being lazy I can't stand lazy ass people bro please so yeah just tell me what you guys are wearing these are Kiko's classics yeah uh, the Kiko's these are Bottega Bottega, Bottega. love these pants uh, Really got well. a pretty good deal out of them so great catch and this feels. is a uh, kiko also i was gonna say this vest is really really nice yeah asap rocky wore it so like, <laughs> like oh, i need to get, yeah, that. to get it yeah yeah and this is beauty beast it's a uh, japanese like uh, it was it's an old brand that was here during the the 90s and it's like pretty limited stocks i love it bro but the design still. is really nice and that's it that's for me that's it for that's my it fit. now uh, your boy uh, so for the sneakers that's uh, acw so, uh, oh eco what look yes. We got oh, the same yeah, thing same on, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I got this Uniqlo pants. Uniqlo. You know, you know. I don't even know the brands, so. I like it though. You see <laughs> the detail at the top. Yeah, just yeah, here. It's like in this nice cream, cream white. Like yeah. It's not completely white. It's a bit yellowy. It's but creamy. And uh, that's the shoulder Susie. bag. And I need yeah. to change the shoulder bag if you know where I can find it. He needs it. to get himself a new <laughs> bag. That one's getting kind of old. Yeah. Yes. So, so what do you guys do? Are you guys in fashion or? Well, I'm getting into fashion yes. studies next he is year. Getting. Fashion school next okay. year. Yeah, in Paris. And what are you doing? But uh, I'm gonna to get. He's fashion going to later. business school next year, but it's like on hold. He, yeah, he's gonna bleed into fashion though. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. that's it. Then. All right. Appreciate you guys though. Appreciate. It. Appreciate you too. So just tell me what you guys are wearing. Whoever I'm wants to start. I'm wearing Source Unknown. <laughs> okay. Uh, this and this, and then I'm wearing Mista heels. Oh, I like these heels a lot. <laughs> And then I'm wearing the row bag. The row. And Kaleos, I think, sunglasses? Yeah, the sunglasses are really nice. Yeah, thanks. And what are you wearing? Mine's super simple. Uh, <laughs> well, I have a Ghani cap and then it's just white tank from Red Eagle. Okay. These are actually like from Rue 21. I like and the shorts. These are just Zara a few seasons ago. Oh, these are Zara. I like these a lot. Just an H&M bag. H&M yeah, bag. Basic stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what do you guys do We're like for both, a living? I'm a content creator and I'm also an events director for our card club. So I shoot a lot of cars in fashion. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. And and I'm a model here. In you're here. a model. Yeah. Amazing. Well, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Yeah, you too. Yeah, thanks. I wasn't even going to do the fit check today, but I got like all my boy stuff on. So why not? Y'all already see this is a t-shirt. I'm going to leave the link right here. I got the pants from Maximilian Hoffman. And the boots are from A. Cole Wall, Samuel Ross. I don't know why I just did that pose. Like Samuel Ross, why did I do that? I don't know. But yo, look at this one street corner right here. Listen, I don't even know if I'm gonna add this part in because I know a lot of y'all are mad sensitive. And you hurt my feelings, ugh. But yo, listen, I seen this dude on the corner. Cause nowadays in New York City, you could just chill, sit down in a corner. You can have new drip every single day, new clothes every single day. And just hold the cup out. And people are just, just gonna start dropping change in there. This dude be sitting there every single day. And listen, I don't know his situation, but he be pulling up in new clothes every single day. And he just be getting up like two hours through as if he gotta go back home. And by all means, he could be homeless. I'm just saying, I know there's frauds out here. And you know, if, if you don't got nothing going on and you need a bag and you got a, you got a plastic cup, you can make a move. And just don't be like, yo, Tristan, you're homeless shaming, homeless people shaming. Like, bro, I'm giving you guys financial advice, trying to help y'all get a bag, which is also boosting my RPM up on YouTube. Like, I'm getting into the finance category now. What can y'all say to me? I do everything. I'm versatile. We do everything around here. So, yeah, just tell me what you're wearing. I'm wearing a full Issei on Blisse, long sleeve, the black, pants. light gray, some Birkin socks. Yeah, the Ber good yeah. Birks on. It's hot dirty, outside today. Dirty Birks. Yeah. yeah. What's the glasses? Uh, the glasses are Warby Parker with some custom tints. Those are really nice. Yeah. Yeah, but we love the Issy, bro. RIP. Of course. RIP to Issy. Yeah. yeah, so what do you do? Uh, I'm a creative director at an agency. Yeah. At an agency? Yeah, a creative agency. We specialize in hospitality experiences. I also do my own thing as an artist, an author, a spoken word artist. Go. Well, it was nice meeting you, bro. Same here, bro. I appreciate yeah. it. Uh, so, yeah, just tell me what you're wearing, bro. Um, what, 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 where is this from? <laughs> this is Uniqlo. This is Oakley. Oakley's fire. I'm wearing Brian Jimenez. I like these pants too. This accessory is also Brian Jimenez. Crazy. This is... The Rhinos? Yeah. Yeah, they're crazy. Yeah, so Thank what do you do? I'm a designer. You're a fashion designer? Yeah. So you have a brand? Um, I make footwear. You, you can find me on Brian's website too. Okay, bad. Instagram. Yeah, yeah bad. Thank you. I'm trying to find Best Buy right now. I need one of those Lacey or... Lassie, Lassie, Lacey, I don't know what it's called. It's a hard drive, like the terabyte things. Woo. Almost running into people. Where the hell is Best Buy? Oh shit, Best oh damn, Best Buy's right here. Do you guys have the Lacey hard drives? Lacey hard drives? Yeah. Check upstairs. 
It's upstairs? Oh. Alright, thank you. Bro, most of the time they be lying. The shit don't even be upstairs. But honestly, I could have got it in Jersey. Jersey don't got that crazy tax, but I don't feel like going all the way. I don't feel like leaving my house. Like, I'm already here. Lacey, Lacey, Lacey. Bruv, mate, how the fuck? How the fuck does Best Buy not have a Lacey hard drive? Cause like bro, I don't wanna go back to Jersey to buy it. I think I'm just buying it on Amazon. I think I'd be cursing way too much in these videos too. I'm gonna have to put a pin comment in the comments right now. So y'all gotta tell me who is your favorite YouTuber outside of fashion right now. I have a new video in mind. All I'm gonna say is anybody's accessible at this point. I'm thinking of a really good idea. I think it's gonna be a huge video, but you guys gotta assist. You guys gotta throw the lob up. Throw the lob up. I'm gonna I'm a slam that shit. I'm gonna I'm a make it happen. So yeah, just tell me what you're wearing, bro. Rock and Rick right now. Prada shades. Oh Prada shades, we love the Prada. Yeah, Alexander McQueen. Okay. And these are actually purple brand. I just like the, uh, the texture in them. No, these are hard. Yeah, and then uh, I got the Ricks. The Rickies. Yeah, yeah Geo Always, it's hot outside. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, boss. <laughs> yeah, so what do you I do? I appreciate you. I'm actually an attorney. An Corporate attorney? attorney, yeah, oh, yeah. okay. The right, law right. stand fly. Yeah, yeah, hey. bro. Pays the bills. Yeah, you, know? you got it. I appreciate it, bro. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Oh, yeah, and before I dip out of here, if you guys want to be more involved in these what are pure wearing videos i know i pinned a comment for something else but i read all the comments i respond to all the comments leave a question in the comments for what i should ask the people i'll choose maybe one or two or something like that i'm trying to get y'all more engaged in this series because i have a lot of new stuff coming out and you know you guys are good, pretty much going to be stamped in time is how i like to think about it because if one of you guys post a comment i used it for the whole clip and i put your guys username in the thing or in the video you guys are pretty much stamped for that video like you guys contributed to the video without actually doing the video you know what i mean so just want to bring you guys more involved so it's like you guys are actually in the video even though you guys aren't type of thing y'all know what i'm saying be more engaged if you guys fuck with me you guys stay till the end you know what i'm saying you guys stay till the end you guys are the end gang end gang like end game you guys are the end gang we're not a gang but we outside love y'all i see some fly people right here i'm gonna get for the next video so yeah bye